guys how are you this is Lois welcome back to my channel oh my goodness guys I hope you're well I am well and <laughs> I talk about Canadian immigration just for the purpose of education so guys don't take what I give you here as legal advice if you need legal advice please reach out to me and book a consultation okay my website is www.mileleimmigrationservices.ca now today 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 i want to talk to you about uh, this is a program that actually was announced last year i didn't talk about this program because we still didn't have uh, full details and up to now we also don't have full details on how they're going to process this program but i want to talk about it because a lot of people have been reaching out to me about it and there seems to be a lot of confusion so i want to <laughs> you know offer some clarity and my personal opinion okay guys you know sometime last year end of last year the province of new brunswick they announced a new stream uh for international students who will be graduating from private colleges so it's a, it's a new pilot program okay that is going to start this year in april it hasn't begun yet and what they said uh, is that um, they're focusing on four colleges in New Brunswick. And these four colleges are that are going to participate in this pilot program. They are number one, Atlantic uh, Business College, the Eastern College, Mackenzie College, and Alton College. Four colleges, okay? So they said that graduates who graduate from these colleges starting from April 2022, they are going to be considered and participate into this new pilot program. Okay? But not everybody, you have to come to these four colleges and uh, study courses that are relevant. Okay? Specific courses uh, that are going to lead to some of the careers that we're going to talk about briefly here okay so the the system is only going to be accessible to new graduates from designated uh, learning institutions you realize that these colleges are designated learning institutions but that these colleges do not offer courses that qualify you for postgraduate work permit remember the goal of every canadian international student is to come here to a dli designated learning institution and get a postgraduate work permit because once you get a postgraduate work permit you get to participate in the canadian labor market you get a job you get the relevant work experience that helps you graduate i mean apply for uh the immigration programs the economic immigration programs but you realize that these colleges yes they are dlis but their courses do not qualify for postgraduate work permit and that's why they've really worked with these colleges to provide some courses that are going to target people who can fill the labor shortage needs in new brunswick uh, the goal from my perspective, they really want to make sure that they can retain people and they want to bring people here who have once they study, they don't have a choice. They have to stay there because they can only immigrate through that program. Of course, that program is going to come with some catch <laughs> somewhere to make sure that they retain you in that province. I am sure about that, uh, but uh, I stand to be corrected. Let's wait until they start processing this because we'll have more details on the requirements uh, because I am sure they really want to retain people. You find that uh, the, these provinces, especially in the Maritimes, there's some provinces that uh, struggle with uh, immigrant retention. Okay, so they're working, <laughs> they're working hard to ensure that people actually, you come and stay there and you're compelled to stay there. Okay, they're trying to, mot to motivate you guys through whatever means uh, to stay in that province. Okay, guys. So anyway, <clears throat> before I go ahead, I want to tell you this. These are not the only colleges in New Brunswick because this is what is causing a lot of confusion. Everybody wants to come to Atlantic Business College or Eastern College or Mackenzie College or Alton College. What I have said is that you only 
uh, go to once you go to these colleges, you'll not get a postgraduate work permit. But there may be reasons as to why you end up in these colleges. So there's nothing wrong with these colleges, but you need to understand that part. You will not be getting a postgraduate work permit, and your only way to immigrate to Canada will be through this pilot program. Okay, so you better be smart and take a course that focuses on the following. Uh, occupations or rather courses that will lead to the following occupations. You better go on the website, uh, check their programs and only select uh, programs that are going to lead to these occupations. Occupation number one is social and community service workers. The other one is early childhood educators and assistants. Uh, third is eco uh, educational assistants. Uh, the other one, number four, is healthcare aides. Number five is home support workers. Number six is licensed practical nurses. Number seven is paramedics and related occupations. Uh, the other one is medical lab technologists. The other one is medical lab technicians and pathologist assistants. The other one is medical administrative assistants. Uh, the other one is computer programmers and interactive media developers. The other one is web designers and developers. Um, the other one is computer network technicians. Uh, another one is user support technicians. Another one is accounting technicians and bookkeepers. The other one is payroll clerks. The other one is shippers and receivers. Uh, the other one is supply chain and logistics. Uh, supervisors and last but not least is production logistics coordinators they are very specific and this looks like these are the occupations that are currently in demand or they are projected to be in demand in new brunswick remember truck drivers and nursing and nursing they continue to be in in uh, in demand but the ones that we just talked about those are the only ones that you need to target if you're coming through these uh four private colleges okay guys so before you do that <laughs> before now you all had because i know everybody has been heading to these websites uh, for these schools applying for courses make sure that you want to stay in new brunswick intent because personally i don't see a very big advantage of going to these schools it's not like they are cheap they the school fees is the same as other schools in Canada or in the in, in the in the same province okay the only time you need to take advantage of this is if you know like you're already in Canada or the only way that you can come to Canada is to these provinces then by that by all means take up those courses but New Brunswick has a total of 39 designated learning institutions and majority of those except eight. So 30 of them, 30 of the DLIs in New Brunswick, they offer courses that will give you a postgraduate work permit. I think that is every student's dream. My my opinion guys every student's dream is to get a postgraduate work permit and you know what uh, there is also a lot of people who come to study either in alberta but they don't necessarily want to uh, settle in alberta maybe they want to go settle in ontario because that's where their family lives and as long as they qualify for the express entry and the ITAs, they are not obligated to stay in, Al in alberta after graduation the same thing there are people who want to go study in New Brunswick because maybe it's cheaper, the cost of living is cheaper at that point. But as a permanent resident, when you want to bring your family, you don't necessarily want to live there. You want to go to a progressive province and there's not, don't, please guys, I'm not saying New Brunswick is not progressive, but then it doesn't rank as high as Alberta or Ontario or British Columbia or even Saskatchewan. So <laughs> only go to these colleges if for sure you know that's where you want to live. The intent is very, 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 very important or it's your last option. <laughs> to come uh, to these four colleges, okay? Otherwise, if you wanna go to New Brunswick, as I said, there is how many universities? I'm just gonna list them here. There's Mount Allison University, there's uh, Kingswood University, there's Crandall University, there's University of Fredericton, there's St. Stephen's University, St. Thomas University, uh, there's University of Moncton, and there's University of New Brunswick. All those are good universities offering a lot of courses actually that are offered by these institutions and um, they are leading to, 
to postgraduate work permits. I realized that uh, one, one of the benefits for these colleges is that uh, you can take some courses that don't necessarily lead to skilled work, like these courses in healthcare aid, you know, uh, home care, home support workers, uh, early childhood educators and assistants. So you can do some payroll uh, pay payroll clerks because you realize that the NOCs are for payroll clerks, these are NOC classes, okay? So these colleges are good if you wanna go and study uh, to get a career that is in an NOC C or D. But if you are, if you want a career in an NOC A O or B, you have a lot of choice. So anyway, I'm not I'm not against this program. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against this program. I'm giving you choices. I'm giving you options. That's why I come here every day to educate you because I'm just the the reason actually I did this uh, this video is <laughs> everybody is sending me an email and they want to go to New Brunswick to these colleges and I'm like. Calm down. Let's see what your options are. Is this the only chance? Is this the only option for you to come study in Canada? Maybe you, you have better chances and better options. So make sure before you choose uh, these four colleges, you know that these are the only options. They are good colleges, nothing against them, but you will get a postgraduate work permit. Okay? <laughs> Okay, guys. Anyway, anyway, those I, I talked about the other <laughs> the other universities in New Brunswick. Do you know there are also other colleges in New Brunswick which are also designated learning institutions, and they'll give you that coveted postgraduate work permit. Examples: There's the Maritime College. There's Moncton Flight uh, School. There's New Brunswick Bible Institute. There's New Brunswick uh, College of Craft and Design. And the most popular one, New Brunswick Community College. Okay, guys, those are colleges that you can still study in New Brunswick and get a postgraduate work permit. So before you apply, be informed. Before you all apply to go to these colleges, understand the school fees is the same as almost every other institute and you won't get a postgraduate work permit, but you'll benefit through this uh, pilot program. If you benefit through that pilot program, you cannot move around. You can't move out of New Brunswick. You have to live there. If you want to utilize all the other colleges and all the other schools that I've talked about in New Brunswick, you have the choice of either living in New Brunswick upon graduation or moving wherever uh, if you go through the provincial nomination. Uh, not, not, not provincial nomination, sorry, through the express entry. Okay, guys. <laughs> all right all right i hope i hope i hope that has helped somebody um again i said most of the videos i do i respond to emails like if i'm getting the same same subject or the same issues in consultations also because i do a lot of consultations if i'm facing the same same uh issue i'm like you know what let me do some public education just so that you understand you know before you apply to these colleges check whether that is the only chance uh that can bring you to canada check whether you have other better options okay guys anyway guys thank you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video